I hadn't seen Mary and Dan Mailer for pretty near three years. Not since they left the panhandle. So I figured as long as I was riding through the Platte River country, I might as well swing out of my way a piece and take a look in on them. I was watching out for a good spot to bed down when I saw this campfire up ahead. Evening. You rather camp private? Climb down. Pour yourself a cup of java. Oh, much obliged. Must be about 15 miles to Walnut Creek, huh? That where you're going? Mm. I got a job down Waco way, but I... Thought I'd swing by and see some friends of mine. Haven't seen him for a long, long time. I know a fellow lives out that way. I ain't seen him for a long time either. Now that I've found him, I reckon to kill him. How come? Down south in Laredo, he got me put away in jail for six years. Killed my kid brother. Laredo, huh? Name is Dan Mailer. Ponce it. Sure, I know you. I know your reputation. They call you a six shooter, don't they? Then you must also know I'm a friend of Dan Mailer's. Yeah. What's your name? Lawson. Red Lawson. How come you're telling me this? I figure you're going to warn him. And that's fine by me. I want him to know. I want him to sweat a little. Maybe get a little scared. Maybe try to run away. But I'll catch him. You tell him that, Ponce. I'll tell him. Nothing he can do about it. You neither. Thanks for the coffee. Dan Mailer's not gonna run. That's just fine. Ever since I got out of prison, I've been doing a lot of practice on my draw. I'm fast, Ponce. I'm fast as you. Just rode into town. Yeah. Think he might like to play our game? If we could ask. Not again? Why, Brit? You old son of a gun. How's that horse of yours scar been? Oh, just fine. Told me that last pair of shoes you fitted them for the most comfortably you ever had. Morning. We, uh... We got a little game. We like to play with strangers that come into town. Oh? Yeah. You see, you and me draw on each other. And the man that draws the fastest gets to shoot a cartridge off the other man's head at 50 paces. That sounds a mite dangerous. Oh, you mean you don't want to play? I'm afraid I haven't got time for that sort of thing. <laughs> Al, he says he hasn't got time for that sort of thing. It's funny, mister. You don't look like a man in no hurry to me. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> well, now that you put it that way, I guess I'm not in such a hurry. How far apart you think we ought to stand? <laughs> well, that don't matter much. Well, I suppose I stand here and you move back their ways. 
<laughs> Better back up a little more. The, the sun's kind of in my eyes. I figure one more step should do it. <laughs> I'll be seeing you, Gib. You fool kids. You know who that was you tried to get smart alligator with? Britt Ponsett. Yeah. Yeah, well, I don't care who he is. Ain't nobody gonna make a fool out of me and get away with it. Hi, Mary. You old son of a gun. Hi there, Dan. Where you been the past three years? Oh, you know, it is here and there, working around. You are looking fine, both of you. Feeling good, too, Britt. Oh, it's settling down that does it. Yeah. She took a good town marshal and turned him into a poor stump rancher. What do you think of that? Now, that's not so, Dan. We have the best stand of corn west of Omaha. The most wonderful thing, though, is peace. Peace? Well, I wouldn't know much about that. I almost forgot. Have we got a surprise for you? I'm pretty hard to surprise. Now don't you tell him, Dan. I want him to see for himself. Well, come on inside, Britt, and brace yourself. Where's the surprise? Just be patient. See? See what's happened to us? It's a baby. Mm -hmm. Well, well, what kind is it, Mary? <laughs> it's not an it. It's a he. He's going to be 10 months old next Tuesday. Young Brit. Oh. Here, hold him. Well, I'll be doggone. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> you better take him. I, I might break it. Oh, now, baby, don't break that easy. I'll put your horse out the pasture. around the pin here. Been doing much shooting lately? Well, I shot a rattler last summer. <laughs> Rusty is your gun, huh? And that's just the way I like him. Rusty and alive. <laughs> mm. Been practicing your draw much lately? Well, what would I want to practice for? I met a fellow on the trail last night name of Red Lawson. Lawson? He says you put him in jail and killed his brother. Oh, I remember. They held up the bank in Laredo. That was four years ago. What's he doing in this part of the country? He says he came here to kill you. You think he meant it? Yeah, I think he did. Well, 
Well, I reckon I better clean this up after dinner. Don't mention this to Mary, will you? No. What are you going to do? I'm going to ride into town first thing in the morning. Now, hold it a minute. What about Mary and the baby? That's just what I'm thinking about. Let's eat it while it's hot. Yeah. Mm, looks good, Mary. It better be. Morning, Britt. Morning, Dan. I had to do my chores before I left for town. Where are you going? Dan, suppose you let me ride to town and talk to Red Lawson. Britt, get this straight. I've always fought my own battles. Sure, I know, but give me just today. Maybe there won't be any battles. The least you can do is give it a try. All right. His name is Lawson, Red Lawson. I believe he served time down south. I'd like to help you on this, Ponsett. But if I was to lock up every man who threatened someone, half the county would be behind bars. The only thing I can do is wait until something happens. I guess you're right. Where do you think I'd find this Lawson? Well, there's only one hotel, one saloon in town, bound to be one or the other. Mm, much obliged. By the way, how come a man sentenced to six years is out in four? Dan Mailer ought to come in the town after you. Sure. Well, what would he do when he got here? Shoot me in the back? He's got a wife and baby. Does that mean anything to you? Yeah. Yeah, I heard he had a family. Thought about him, too. Three for the price of one wouldn't be bad odds. Listen, Ponset. I've done nothing. But when I do what I come here to do, I don't care what happens afterwards. See, Dan Mailer can't make a move till I do. And I ain't gonna draw on you. I want Dan. See, I got all the cards. Besides, the whole frontier knows how you feel about killing. The longer I know you, the more different I feel. Britt Ponson, a friend of yours? It's funny. I don't like it much, neither. Men are mighty quiet tonight. No? Well... <clears throat> I'll take him now. I'm just learning how to hold him. 
there are some things you can't do for him, even if he is your neighbor. Like what, for instance? It's his supper time. Well, I could... Oh. 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 Yeah. Come on, sweetheart. Have another glass of cider? Mm, thanks. kid from town. Go outside and see what he wants. Stop, Dan. It's all right, honey. He's holstering his gun. I'll cover you from here. What do you want? I got a message for you, Mailer. Red will meet you at dawn on the main street of town. Otherwise, he told me to tell you. Three for one. Marshal, then it was your job. Honey, that doesn't mean anything to a man like Lawson. Well, then let's go to the sheriff and get some help. Britt's already seen the sheriff. There's nothing he can do. Well, then we've got to pack and get out of here. And get chased all over the West, never knowing when he's going to catch up with us. Nothing doing. Britt, what can we do? The baby's crying. No good, Dan. Well, what should I do? Wait here till he bushwhacks me from out of the woods? Let's look at it plain. You're not a gun hand anymore. Look, Britt. I wasn't Marshal of Laredo for ten years for nothing. And gun hand or no, this is still my fight. Wonder why Red changed his mind and didn't come out here. I don't know. And I don't care as long as it keeps him away from my family. The, um, the baby's all right. It was just the noise that woke him up. Comes daylight around 5 in the morning. I'll leave for town a couple of hours before that.
Now, Sandy. Now! Suppose we find a town doctor. Have him take a look at those arms. Hey, just a minute. Doctor will have to see Lawson in a jail cell. I checked on him. He wasn't released. He broke out, killed a guard while he was at it. Either way, looks like he'll never pull a gun again. All right, Lawson, let's go. Now, don't stay away so long next time, Brad. I'll check in every once in a while. Look, Dan, I wish you wouldn't act this way. I'm sorry. Now, don't you worry about him. He'll get over it. Well, it wasn't you or Mary I was worried about. It was young Brett here. After all, having a namesake's quite a responsibility. Ah, well, you didn't have to clout me so hard. You've never done anything for him that's made me happier. <laughs> well, so long. Where are you going from here, Brett? I've got a job down Waco way. So long, Brett. <laughs> 